Hello and welcome everyone to this second video of the series in which we are learning everything about sweep command. Now, in the previous video of this particular series, we have learned or we have understood how to use tube command in a proper way. Now, in this particular video, we will be learning or we will be going through a set of commands which is related to sweep along guide. Now, for this entire series, I am planning to keep the language as English. Okay. So for this entire series, which will contain like, uh, I guess, two or three more videos, uh, the language of the video will be English, but I'll try to keep it as simple as possible so that everyone can easily understand what I'm trying to explain and I'll go a little bit slower. Okay. So I hope you will follow along. Please try to spend your time and try to understand if possible. If you want me to create more videos in Hindi, then please comment in the section below and ask your friends also to join so that I can understand that more people are wanting to, uh, you know, learn this particular course in Hindi. Okay. So thank you very much. Let us start with the course. So in this particular lecture, I'll be explaining you how to use sweep along guide command. Now in the previous lecture, I have already explained you how to use tube, tube command. So in this video, we are going to learn sweep along guide. which is one of the very simplest command uh, in this sweep uh, category, okay, after tube. Now in sweep along guide, uh, in tube command, as we remember, the section was a circle. It was always a circle for which we have to give the inner diameter and outer diameter. In sweep along guide command, a section can be sketched, okay, and also a guide can be sketched, okay. So we need to sketch a section and we need to also sketch a guide. A section can be an open loop or a closed loop. Okay, section can be an open sketch or a closed sketch or section can be an open loop or a closed loop. Same goes with the guide. Okay, so guide can also be an open loop or a closed loop. Okay, now here the output Okay, can be either solid or it can be thin solid. Okay, like the way it was in tube or it was it can be also in sheet. In tube command, it is not possible for us to create a sheet and Boolean operations are available. Okay, so Boolean operation like unite, subtract, intersect are available. Okay, now in this particular command, I'm going to divide this command in four categories. Okay. So we have something called a section and we have something called as guide. Okay. So the first, in the first type, we are going to create a closed section, a section containing a closed sketch. Okay. A closed section and an open guide. Okay. And we are going to understand what we are getting by creating a closed section and an open guide. Then we will be creating the next condition or the next situation called as open section and open guide. And we will see what exactly we are getting by doing that. Okay. Then we will understand what and how to create a closed section along with a closed guide. Okay. Along with a closed guide. And then we are going to understand how to create a open section or what will happen if I create an open section with a close guide. Okay. What type of outputs we can get. So let us start understanding this sweep along guide command and starting with the close section and open guide. Now to start with, I will create a sketch. Okay. Uh -huh. One more thing I wanted to point out before we continue with this command here in guide, it can have corners. Okay. So it can have corners. And this is the only command in sweep category, which will allow you to have a guide with corners. If you remember in the previous command, uh, it was not allowed for us to create a corner, right? So this is the only set of commands where in which we can create a corner. Okay. So here I'm going for a sketch and I'm creating a very simple sketch on a side plane. So let's say here on the side plane, I'm creating a simple sketch and my sketch will contain, let's say a horizontal line, an angular line, and again, a horizontal line. I'm not giving any dimension so far. Okay, so I created just three simple lines and I'm not giving any dimension as of now. I'll click on finish. Okay, to complete my sketch and now we can notice my sketch is ready. Now, in this condition, the tube command is not going to work. 
okay to know why you can also check out the previous video which was typically on the tube command itself okay it is all because of the corner and why exactly corner doesn't work in tube command i have explained it briefly inside that particular video okay now in this video we are considering more about sweep along guide command so we are going to follow for sweep along guide command itself okay now here i have already created my guide and now i'm going to create my profile so for creating my profile i'll go for a sketch and i'll try to create a profile on the right plane because i created my guide on the front plane so i'm creating the profile on my right plane now here i'm creating a profile which is in the form of a rectangle so here i'm creating a simple rectangle so let's say for now i'm creating a simple rectangle like this and i'll choose to finish so i can have different form of guide if i want to make the rectangle slightly bigger because it is way smaller with respect to the guide so i'll just make it a little bigger so that it looks prominent with respect to the guide okay so here we have a guide here we have a rectangle which will be a section and here we have a guide okay now i'll go for surface tab and here inside more i'll go for sweep along guide command and if you don't want to go always inside for this command what we can do if you remember we can right click in the blank area we can choose to customize and we can define over here let's say i want sweep along guide so i'll just type sweep and i'll find the command here sweep along guide i can just drag it to the top next to the tube okay and now sweep along guide command is added to the list okay so i don't always have to change the tab and go inside that particular uh, you know surface tab to search for it okay now here in sweep along guide command we i'll just reset the command itself i have to do two things okay in tube command if you remember i just need to select the path or the guide okay but here in sweep along guide we need to select the section as well as the guide okay so in tube command the section was always a circle but in sweep along guide i can define anything i want as my section so here inside section i am going for a uh, selection criteria called or curve rule called connected curves okay so i am activating connected curves and inside section i am selecting my rectangle okay so my section is selected and this is my first condition this is i am using a closed section and in this closed section i am using a rectangle then in guide i am selecting connected curve again okay in for selection of a guide i am choosing connected curve and then i am selecting the line and now we can see the rectangle is following that line now this can be a rectangle this can be any other sketch you want because it is a sketch section so you want to sketch anything you can do that okay you can create any form of sketch you want and again there is a myth that the sketch should be touching the guide it is not really necessary okay so remember that it is not really necessary that the sketch should be touching the guide so this is something which i have created so far okay now i'll just cancel the command and to you know uh, remove that myth what i'll do is i'll create a fillet here okay now in this case uh, as we all can see that the section is not touching the guide okay let's try the command again sweep along guide section is selected the guide is selected and still it has been following okay in a proper way so this is how sweep along guide command is going to work now in sweep along guide we do have one more option called first offset and second offset okay it is similar to extrude start limit and end limit okay so if i give the second offset of 5 okay if i give the second offset of 5 so it will start from the sketch and go with the thickness of 5 so if you don't give any offset value the output will be in a form of solid okay the output will be in a form of solid but if you give a thickness a offset value then the output will be in the form of thin solid okay the output will be in the form of thin solid so for example here right now if this is uh, currently set to 0 0 so the output is totally solid but if i give 10 so it will be a solid with the thickness of 10 mm okay now here i am giving 5 and here the second offset is 10 now i want you to comment in the section below that what will be the thickness of this part okay so the first offset value is set to 5 and second offset value is set to 10 i want you to comment what will be the thickness of the part okay so here i am giving again 0 and 0 okay so this is what i am getting now here in settings i can choose whether i want a sheet geometry or whether i want a solid geometry okay so i can decide that as well okay and once i am done i can either click okay or i can click apply whatever i want to for now i'll click cancel because i need to continue the training on of this particular command 
so as we have seen whenever we have a closed guide okay sorry a closed section and a open guide we have all the three types of output okay in output we can either create a solid geometry or we can create a thin solid geometry or we can create a sheet geometry now let's do one thing i'll just modify my section so i'll go back to my section i'll just delete these two lines okay now i have a open section and a open guide okay i have a open section and a open guide now i'll go for the same command that is sweep along guide now here inside section i am selecting this inside guide i am selecting this and now the default output is not a solid it's a surface okay the default output is a surface or a sheet geometry okay so as we can now all see here that i am getting a sheet geometry if i am selecting a open section okay as a section and open sketch as a guide okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to increase the value for second offset let's say to 10 so now i'm getting a thin solid geometry okay now i'm getting a thin solid geometry with a offset value of 10 so i hope you understand what will happen if you select okay if you select a open sketch and a open guide so you are never going to get a solid body okay you will either get a thin solid body or you will get a sheet body okay you will either get a thin solid body or you will get a sheet body so this is how this command is going to work okay now let's learn the next one that is close section and a close guide for that i need to change my example so i'll close this okay i'll delete the two sketches which i have already created and let's try to create something on the top plane so here i am creating let's say a circle uh let's have diameter 300 and i am again creating one more circle exactly on the right side of let's say diameter 150 so this circle is exactly half of the first circle i am making both the circles horizontally aligned okay and defining the value of 300 center to center now i'm creating a line tangent from this circle to this circle okay and from this circle to this circle now i'm using the trim tool to get rid of this extra part and i'm clicking on finish and this is going to be my guide okay this is going to be my guide now to create my section to create my section okay you might have noticed one thing i always create my guide first because it is easier after creating your guide to locate your section properly now i want to create a closed section to create my closed section what i can do is i can go for a sketch and rather than creating a sketch on a plane okay rather than creating a sketch on a plane so i'll just zoom into this part i can create a sketch on a path okay as we can highlight this option as you can see i can create a sketch on the path okay so here either i can create a sketch on a plane or i can create a sketch on a path so i'll choose in this case i want to create a sketch on a path and here i'll choose a single curve okay i'll choose a single curve and i'll select this line and now i can locate my sketch anywhere on this path okay so now as we can all notice here i can locate my sketch anywhere on this path i'm locating my sketch exactly after 10% okay you can see over here my path is starting from here but i am locating my sketch exactly after 10% okay at the path now here i am creating a simple rectangle i am clicking on finish and now i am trying to use the same command that is sweep along guide now inside this command i am choosing connected curve let's say this is my set of connected curve and here in guide i am selecting this uh, tangent curve and this is what is happening now it is not very much perfect okay if i show you the top view you can notice it is slightly uh, you know increasing the length of this uh, following line following line and then there is a curve then again there is a length which has been increased and again there is a curve but it is not properly matching the reason is because this was created 11 or 10 percentage away or mm away whatever it is so, okay so that much increment you are getting on this side so it is always it is always recommended that whenever you create your section okay for a close guide whenever you create your sketch section you have to remember that you should create on either of these corner either at the starting of the curve or at the ending of the curve okay don't create it in the middle somewhere 
okay so that will give you appropriate result so for example here i am creating my rectangle again i am choosing finish again i am trying okay so here i am going for sweep along guide section is already selected i'll select my guide and now i'm getting a very perfect output what is required by me okay so this is how you can use this particular command okay this is how you can use this particular command now as we all know whenever we create a closed section with a closed guide we can get a uh, we can get all the similar outputs you know so whenever we use a closed section okay we can create a solid body we can create a thin solid body or we can create a sheet geometry it is all possible now this one will be the most interesting part that is the open section and a closed guide now let's try to create an open section in place of this closed section so i'll just delete my rectangle and in place of my rectangle i'll just simply create few lines for example something like this so this section is an open section okay i'll just add few circles if you if i want to so i'll add one circle here one circle here and one circle here i'll use trim command to get rid of this extra parts okay so this is a proper definition of an open section so this is a proper open section which i have created exactly at the end by following all the rules which i have just defined sweep along guide i'm selecting the section i'm selecting the guide in this case the guide is a closed sketch so see what is going to happen as soon as i select the guide what i am getting is a solid body actually the output should be like this right okay but because here the output or body type is selected as solid it is trying to create a closed geometry or a solid geometry now in only this condition when the section is open if the guide is closed i'm going to get all the three output i can create a solid body i can provide offset and create a thin solid body okay 10 mm offset should be possible really like i'll just go for 5 or 3 mm okay so here you can see either i can create a offset and create a thin solid geometry or i can change the body type to sheet and get a surface geometry okay so here in sweep along guide command all the three conditions are possible so only when you create an open section with an open guide that is the only time you will not get a solid body as output okay in all the other conditions you will get solid body as the output and this is the most interesting condition because this is not possible in most of all the softwares okay so here if i click okay this is just created with the help of an close sketch as a guide and an open sketch as a path okay as a section okay so i hope you understand this command called sweep along guide okay and i hope you get a proper point about how to use this particular command okay so thank you very much for watching have a great day and one more thing i wanted to uh, tell you if you are following along till this part okay uh, there is a link in the description a skillshare link where i am publishing my classes and if you join using that link you'll get one month free trial of skillshare okay so if you want to join for skillshare you can definitely click on this link if this is not a paid promotion this is something which i'm doing from my side for all of you guys okay you will all get one month free trial if you click on that link and if you join using that link below okay thank you very much for watching have a great day